Hello good morning friends welcome back to your favorite channel Codeven Digest today in this tutorial we are going to learn how to set up IAM user to access our S3 bucket right friends in this tutorial i'll show you how can you create IAM user how to set up policy how to provide permission to access the S3 bucket in AWS cloud so stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end it is going to be very very exciting and very informative tutorial today right friends friends i have already published a video where i am explaining step by step how to set up simple storage service s3 bucket in aws cloud so go and watch this tutorial if you want to learn how to set up s3 bucket in aws cloud follow this tutorial for the step by step guide Okay friends, so now we have created bucket and inside the bucket we have this file uploaded. Now what we'll do is we'll create an IAM user to access this file. Okay, so let's go to IAM, search for IAM service and then you will land on this IAM dashboard. Here on the user, click on create user to create a desired user here. I'll say S3 bucket test user right and then I'll say next at the bottom right corner so I'll just say next we'll create the policy resource policy later and then review and create user name is s3 bucket test user permissions will add later say create user right so s3 bucket user is created now next what we'll do is we'll create a policy and then we'll attach that policy into this user so we'll go to the policies here create a policy if you have a, a policy created json then that you can paste it here directly let's try to do visually select s3 here all S3 actions, read, write, permission tagging, right? Resources, specific grant, all, and request condition. Next, policy name, S3 bucket, test policy, permission, full access, full resource, create policy right so now you can search s3 bucket yeah so this is your policy now what we'll do is we'll attach that policy into this user go to the user permissions add permission policy add permissions attach policy directly so here we can say s3 bucket so this is our policy that we have created and say next and click add permissions so the policy got added to that user now you can see in this user we have this permission s3 bucket policy and this policy says s3 bucket full access all resources right so this is the permissions that we have if it we want json so this is the json version of it allow action s3 star resource star okay so this is a policy that we have created now what we'll do is we'll create user access key and secret for this user so that we can use to access it now security credentials create access key so come inside the user so let's go inside the user click on the security credential come down to create access key create access key here click on create access key use case command line local code application running in aws third party service application running outside aws 
others there's a third party because we may want to use the credential in other application who wants to access our s3 bucket right which is running outside aws infra as well right so i understand click next description tag value s3 bucket access key create access key so this is my access key let's say i'm copying this and secret i'll copy that you should keep this safe because this is critical you should not expose these to anyone otherwise they will have access to your resources right so now we have access key and access secret now we'll try to access our s3 bucket let's let us do that friends before we proceed in this video i request you to subscribe this channel to grow code one digest family friends i am creating a lot of quality videos on programming and coding concepts design pattern and design principles cloud and container technologies but i am not getting subscribers i request you to like share and subscribe this channel so that i can grow our code one digest family thank you okay friends so now let's test our credentials if we are able to access s3 bucket the content of x3 bu bucket from our local so for that you should go to command prompt and the prerequisite here is you should have a aws cli installed in your local machine if you have that you can check if you have aws cli installed you can do that aws minus minus version which will tell you if you have aws cli installed so it says yes aws cli 2.14.3 is installed what i'll do is now i'll use those credential to log in i'll say aws configure it will ask me the credential this is my access key and now i'll copy my access secret right default region i'll select this region or perform and done right so here is the command to list the content of our bucket aws s3 ls list and this is the bucket name so the bucket name is this so we can take this command paste it on a console and say enter so it will give you the list of content that you have so this is a file that we have s3 bucket test file that we have in our bucket so it is listing same way if you want to download the file if you want to upload the file to so that command you can use aws s3 and that command this is a proof of concept that using the access key and access secret of a user we are able to access the content of s3 bucket and remember we are using the access key and access secret of that user in that user we have attached a policy in that policy we have granted the full permission for the s3 bucket now in that policy you can go and modify the permissions accordingly you can define read only permission or you can define list only permission that it, they can just list the content of the bucket or you can define the write permissions and so on right so that that is the beauty of iam policies that you can define the permissions at very granular level right okay friends so if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel so do subscribe to my channel to grow code one digest family thank you friends if you like this video so give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for the more interesting videos click on the bell icon for the latest video notifications and do not forget to share this video with all your friends and colleagues this is very useful information for students beginners and software engineers i am putting a lot of efforts in creating this contents so please help me growing the code one digest family please subscribe to code one digest channel for the latest programming and technology related videos thank you